This video is sponsored by Value Testers. Hot preseason promo deals on Baccarat, Testo, Combustion Analyzers. Check out Value Testers for a full preview of specials, deals, and promos. Best tool company on the web, no one compares. Description and link below. Morning guys, it is January 28, 2019. Here I got a call for uh, a leak on a water pipe. That's one of these pinholes. It's one of these pinhole leaks that's spraying down in the basement all over the place. Type. I told him to put a rag over it and uh, put a bucket. It'll drip down into a bucket. You know, that's the best thing to get a small leak like that. Call me on. Uh, you call me yesterday, Sunday or Saturday, Saturday or Sunday about it. We'll go by there and see if we can even shut the water off. And she said she got other problems over there, so one of the zones isn't Turn working. Left on. Corner, Mall Road. Think we can fix it? <laughs> I don't know if we can do it. I think we can. We can fix it. Looks like this is leaking. The expansion tank might be bad too. Yeah, the expansion tank's leaking. Expansion tanks a leak. You can see it pissing out of there. Wow. We gotta drain that, put another one in there somewhere. I don't know about this. This is leaking too. Take this off of here and see what the hell's going on here. He says this was leaking too, but I don't know. Maybe. Oh, well, I gotta get my tools down here anyway. That tank's gonna be changed. Drain the heat down. Drain the heat and uh, we'll see if this is leaking. This is on the main water line here. It's all wet. Get my tools down here. I don't see the water pipe leaking. But I do see that squirting straight up. The holes, there's a hole in that tank right there. That's where the problem is. We're gonna drain it down. I'm gonna put another tank in here. We're gonna drain the boiler down. Get a hose and drain it down, and we'll fix that. That should might not be that big of a deal. All right, guys. What we'll do is we'll just put this drop air female in there. We'll put a hang on. We'll hang a tank right off the pipe, and we'll just drain. Take that other tank. We'll just connect the other tank right out of there. I got another tank right there, number thirty. We could use, and I just have to put a hanger on it. That'll work. I'm gonna hang it right here. We'll we'll clip it right to the beam. So we'll take the weight of that tank, and we'll uh, give it the old Gundy. We'll get a little dirt there. We'll see if it takes it. I got the water off. There is a valve here. We should be able to open it. It should suck the air in from here. Just have to be careful. We don't get this control wet. I got the water feeder off. We'll just drain the tank down, disconnect it, and put another tank right there. Leave that thing right up there. I'm not even going to play with it. i put a hanger right to that beam there. We'll just hang the, uh, the boiler to tank right here. Boom. I just want to open it too much because then the water will start squirting out. We're draining that tank down. 
I did take that. I did take that fit all cover out of there and dump it right down the drain. Oh, can I help you? Hello? Hello. Can I help you? Give me a minute. Yes. How are you? Okay. Awesome. We're having a huge auction for your locals next month. And I want to get you out of Florida catalog. You sell out there in 30 Spring Street? You having a large auction where you're looking for some free stuff? No, we're, we're having an auction. I want to get you out of Florida catalog. You're still out there at 30 Spring Street, aren't you? What do you want me to get? I want to get you out of my flyer and my catalog. While I got you on the phone, I do want to tell you real quick about some of the free samples that will be coming with the flyer and the catalog. Now they're just samples for you to try out. That way, if you love them, you'll know where to get more out later on, okay? Free samples of what? I'm going to send you some of our world famous hand cleaner. Also, I'm going to drop you in some samples of our best work gloves. And our OSHA improved safety glasses. So tell me, what size gloves are you, Steven? Super extra large. Alrighty. And on the safety glasses, do you prefer tinted, clear, or amber yellow? So what works best for you? Um, I'm all set, guy. I got so much stuff now, I don't even know what to do with what I got. I don't really need anything of course, free. Of, of course, you have stuff on there. I don't doubt that. Okay, it takes candy to, go, to run a candy shop. Just compare these to what you use now. I'll, I'll let I'll benefit. Okay. Uh, now, what was that? I'm working. I'm kind of in a in a, a bad a bad time for me right now. I'll have to call you another time. Well, if you like the samples, just make sure you give us a call. Give us a shot at your business. Now, when you're ready to buy some, you can find my name and number right on top of the catalog we're sending you. All right, send it through. Yeah, there will also be some promotional items in the box that have my name and number as well. There will be coffee mugs, hats, and calendars, all with their toll free number. Now, I do assure you, all that stuff is coming for free, Steven, like I said. But there's just one thing that I want you to buy from me. But well, don't worry, I don't want you to buy nothing, sight unseen. So I'm going to drop you in a special item for you to check out when the stuff shows up. Now, let me ask you, have you ever heard of a wall drive socket? Long drive socket. Yeah, I guess so. Well, no worries. Most people have it. It's a specialty designed socket, and it obtains three major benefits. Now, I'm sure you're aware of how most sockets they grip in the corners of the basket, and if you put too much torque on it, it just strips and rounds off, right? So what is your what is your some kind of special Superman setup? actually grip from the sidewalls instead of the corners. Oh, I got those. I got a whole bunch of those. These are brand new to the market. Really? Yeah, the only manufacturer that has these is Snapwalk. And Snapwalk, they get about two to three hundred a set. So if you went to one of those fancy tour trucks, I'm sure you heard a snap one, right? Yeah, I heard a snap one. Hey guy, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Jesus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, mama. He's a talker. He's sell me some specialty wrenches. See, if you open it too much, she'll, she'll dribble on you. Not good. Special to the market. Brand new special to the market. Yeah, I got the water off there, so I know that's off. There's a Laker. There's a Laker. All right, guys, I put a little hose on a drain over there. I'm gonna cut this. I put this hanger here. I'm gonna solder a female adapter right on there, right there. I want to put that right on there. And I'll screw the tank right in it. It'll tank.
that tank right up and then put a new one right here. There's plenty of, plenty of place for it. It's a good spot for it. Let that cool and I'll screw it right in there. I got the hanger there to take the weight. It'll be all right. all right. So I put the tank right there. I mean, it's fine. Inside of the way. That's a good spot for it. I got the hanger. I'm just going to leave it right there. I don't think there's a problem with the water pipe. It was just that tank. I don't know if this feed is any good. We'll find out. We're going to need to purge all the zones. We'll shut these three returns off. We'll do one at a time. feed is any good. Yeah, it might be. It's gonna take a little while. I forget we drained the boil drained a lot of water out of it so yeah we're getting a flow. We'll bleed all these three. I'm just gonna leave that up, that tank up there. If he wants to take it down, let him take it down. Just right now. Look at a bad feeder here. She's not feeding. I have to change that feeder. Look at the stuff on there. Calcium cholesterol built up. Should work now. Alright, guys, I had to change that boiler drain because she was leaking. Very common. I changed the, the feeder and the 9D both. We're getting a flow now. You can hear it. Before it wasn't getting a flow. I tried cleaning this thing out. And it was still blocked. You can see it's just all just all chooched. This thing's all chooched also. You can see it's just all corroded. Had to replace them both. All right, now I'm filling, and I'm gonna go up through the zones, purge the zones. Who were complaining about air? They would have never got the air out with that other stuff the way it was. So I had to change it. You can hear it now. See, it's pushing through. That's what we want. We'd be here all day playing around with it, playing games with the thing, in the other way. We want to play. We want to have. We want to play games. I ain't got time to play games. I got other jobs to do. I'm gonna place the pots of the bad and we'll uh, get it going for the guy. So, you're a real shit show, Mama. You're a real shit show. Shit show, mama. Alright, so I'm going up through the supply, through the house, back, and purging up his owns. I'm 
going to do all three. You can hear the difference now with the new feeder and the new 9D. I really do make a combination one, but I just use it on my other job, 911S. So. can hear it quieting down, and we'll move it over to the other one. When the feeders get old, you're better off just replacing them. They're not going to work right anyway, so don't be cheap. Don't be cheap, mama. Don't be a cheapskate. Tighter than two coats of paint. You'll be able to hear when it quiets down. Once I open that hose, then I could then I could put the bypass to give it more pressure. <coughs> cap on it. One inch. Must be a split loop or something. Oh no, you know what? That's all cast iron baseboard. I won't be able to do that one. That's must be cast iron baseboard upstairs. That's why it was making that weird noise. Get it back in there. We got a couple of copper loops, and then the other ones are cast iron baseboard, so that's why it was making that weird noise. I might have to go with a bigger tank, I doubt it, but maybe, we'll see. See when it heats up, how it works. I don't have a bigger tank with me. Maybe you can just put your hand on the hose and you can feel if it's... And we'll quiet down. Yeah, we'll quiet it down. That's what we want. We're good. Houston, we have ignition. I might have to get a bigger tank, but I'm not sure. I think that 30 is going to be fine. I'm going to have to keep an eye on the pressure. That is fine. She's got all the thermostats turned up upstairs, so we're going to check it. I'm going to put a cap on that one. I got a cap here. Sometimes when you, when you open these, sometimes you gotta put caps on them to stop them from dripping. 
This is how it is. New expansion tank, 9D backflow, water feeder, and a boiler drain. No leaks, that's good. Well, make sure it gets hot before I go. Burnham. Yeah, it looks like that uh looks like that water's drying up now. The tank was rotted. Yeah, tank was rotted. I don't see this. I don't think this water pipe's leaking. It was you can see that tank's rotted there? Yeah, yeah. It was squirting right up and out. Oh jeez. So I put this tank oh, okay. in. And I put a hanger. And uh I had to change this feeder and this water, this backflow here, because I wasn't getting any flow of water through. Okay. So I left all the parts here for your husband. Now I'm just checking it, make sure it's okay. If it builds up too much pressure, I might have to put a bigger tank in here, but I'm, oh, okay. I think that tank's going to work, but it's questionable the size-wise. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, guys, all three zones are coming back nice and toasty here. Right around 25 pounds. I don't know how accurate that gauge is. But I think the expansion tank's gonna be okay. If they start having problems with the relief, I'll put a number 60 tank in there. And I think we'll be fine with that. Can't always go by these uh, these gauges, they're not always accurate. Relief valve hasn't let loose. And uh, I think we're going to be okay. That that tank is questionable whether I should have went with a 60. Because he's got cast iron baseboard upstairs. Which is, you know, a little bit more with volume than a regular copper fin. That's when you need the bigger tanks when you got more volume. But it's only a one inch loop. So, I think we're going to be okay. I'll leave the pots there and get them built.